Now, there's no more familiar sight in the countryside than a tractor ploughing a field, but some farmers are abandoning ploughing, trying a no-till approach. They believe it saves money and is better for the environment. But is that actually true? Well, a groundbreaking experiment in the Midlands is underway to try and find out. And the initial results are astonishing the experts. Here's our Rural Affairs correspondent, David Gregory Kumar. I'm walking through a radical farming experiment taking place in a field of wheat not far from Wem in Shropshire. The aim is to get to grips with the invisible world living in the soil beneath our feet. It's about seven billion organisms which are bacteria and fungi and springtails and other mesofauna who are sort of microscopic creatures. And but they're important? They're important because they can harm but in most cases help the plants that we're growing. But in this field, those bugs and bacteria, all the organisms in the soil, are divided in a new experiment. Some live in strips of land that have been ploughed, the rest in no-till land. It hasn't been ploughed for three years now. So just looking, what are the differences you can see between these two plots? These plants are slightly backwards that have been cultivated. They are more erect, they're shorter, uh, they're struggling and they've got to compete with more weeds. The no-till plants are taller and happier and they've got less weeds to compete with. You can certainly see there are more weeds in the traditional ploughed crop and in the lab the difference is stark. Weedy plants from the ploughed strips on the left, healthier plants from no-till on the right. I am quite surprised at how stark the differences are after just, just one season with everything else has been the same apart from this tillage step and you can see really quite remarkable differences. I'm, I'm quite surprised at how strong they are. Now these are preliminary results, but it looks like abandoning ploughing, switching to no-till is good news for the crop and for the soil. But it also means the land could hold more water and that could reduce flooding. Which is good news for the rest of us. The experiment still has a long way to go, but so far it seems ditching ploughing might be the way forward for our arable farmers. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Bidden Today, WEM.